Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. Today, we're talking turtles. In Montana, we only have three native turtle species, and two of the three are species of concern. The most widespread and probably most well-known turtle in the state is the painted turtle. They're in the pond turtle family and can be found in lakes, ponds, reservoirs, and slow-moving water all over the state. They can be identified by the beautiful red and yellow markings under their shell and yellow lines on their head, neck, and legs. Red-eared sliders, like this one found right here in Spring Meadow Lake, are a non-native invasive species that look really similar to painted turtles, but have a dark red stripe behind their eye. This species is native to the southeastern United States and was most likely introduced by pet owners who could no longer care for them. When pets like turtles are released into the wild, they compete with native species for food and resources and can introduce diseases. So if you have a pet, any pet, never ever release it into the wild. Another turtle and our first species of concern is the snapping turtle. This is the largest of our turtle species, which can be identified by their long tail, sawtooth shaped projections on top of their shell, and of course, a hooked upper jaw that is perfect for snapping up prey. This species is of particular interest to FWP scientists right now. They are native on the eastern part of the state, but not to the west of the Continental Divide, where one has recently been spotted. If you happen to see a snapping turtle where it doesn't belong, particularly in the Missoula Valley, you should take a picture and let your local FWP office know. And last but not least, the incredible and elusive spiny softshell turtle, another species of concern here in Montana. This is primarily a river-dwelling species, and in Montana they can be found out east in the Missouri and Yellowstone drainages. They can be easily identified by their leathery soft shell lined with spines on the front edge, their long neck, and their tubular nostrils. These turtles are very hard for our scientists to study. When researchers are able to trap them, they will mark them with radio tags to try to find out more about where they breed and how Montana's populations are doing. Overall, Montana's turtle populations are still not very well understood, and this makes management efforts pretty difficult. The more we can learn about these species, the more we can do to protect their populations. You can help contribute to turtle research by submitting any of your turtle findings to the Montana Field Guide at fieldguide.mt.gov.